Uh, I'm Roberto Baldoni. I'm the director of the Research Center in Cyber Intelligence and Information Security at Sapienza University, and I am also the director of the National Lab of Cyber Security uh, in Italy. The threat uh, that are facing uh, small medium enterprise on the internet is actually now quite rising. Uh, why? Because you have an avalanche of uh, uh, malware especially ransomware at the moment that are attacking uh, these kind of companies. So, of course, uh, these companies are usually not uh, ICT companies. Uh, they have their own business uh, and they don't care that much uh, about uh, cyber security. The problem is that uh, they have uh, assets that are their computers, their networks, uh, and of course they have to care about this kind of attack because probably their uh, products, services or methodologies uh, are, uh, let's say, uh, stored inside their uh, information systems. So this is why they could be attacked and there could be a data bridge where all their ideas, patents, information, critical asset can be, uh, you know, uh, move away and copied in some other part of the, of the world. So actually what can happen is that the know-how that they probably for them took years to put inside their products, it could be, you know, lose in a few milliseconds. So this is why uh, cyber security has to be a main asset for them. They have to realize uh, at the end of the day that uh, this is one of the most important things for the economy of the future. I think that the most comprehensive uh, uh, initiative uh, that we have at the moment is the contractual public-private partnership. Uh, this is actually a program uh, with more or less 400 million uh, euros that is devoted to research and development uh, of new technologies and systems uh, related to security. Of course, uh, this is also accompanied by other actions that are inside several different Directorate General, like DG Connect, DG Home, and each one of these uh, DG has its own, uh, let's say, program on cybersecurity. So actually, I would say that cybersecurity is really at the center of uh, thinking of European. Uh, uh, parliament and uh, you know European uh, government at the moment. We, we actually are uh, in Italy collaborating with uh, several nations. I think that from the uh, Italian point of view we should try to define a good plan for the future that uh, look not only to technology but also to other aspects, uh, trying to define the main asset that we would like to have uh, for the future. For example, the, the framework, uh, the national framework of cybersecurity is definitely one of uh, uh, these assets. And we should try to encourage the, let's say, the culture of building things that can create value for the future rather than, you know, buy technology that uh, at the end of, uh, you know, may maybe two years, uh, it will be hacked uh, without too much trouble. So I, I think that, of course, having said that, I am not saying that technology is bad, but what I want to say is that we have to, we need an approach that has to be multidisciplinary. Technology on one side, you know, and uh, other sides that can be more organizational, legal, psychological. I mean, we have a wide spectrum of things in cybersecurity.